I have a fast and fun Baby Bargello quilt to share with you on today's episode of My First Quilt. Hi, welcome to My First Quilt. I'm Sarah Gallegos, and in this episode, we're talking about a baby Bargello quilt. A lot of times people look at Bargello quilts and feel just a little intimidated, but they're actually fairly easy to put together because it's all strip piecing. So here's my baby Bargello quilt, and it's a lot of fun to pick out some really fun kid-friendly fabrics. I started with my little lion print here and then just picked a whole bunch of coordinates that worked with it. And you can actually make this quilt out of fat quarters. So I love a fat quarter friendly quilt that's fast and quick to put together. Let me show you how it comes together. So this quilt starts with cutting strips out of your fat quarters. And all of your strips are cut to five and a half inches except for one main print you're gonna kind of want to pay attention to because you're going to use this as sort of a positioning throughout the quilt. So for me it was my stripe. You've got one little striped two inch or two and a half inch strip. Then the other thing you want to pay attention to is what you put at the top of your strip. I think they refer to this as a crab print in the pattern. And for me it was my lions. And again, we're gonna kind of use that as a marker as we construct the quilt. So all of your strip sets come together exactly the same. You make three that are identical in the same order. And then you're going to take that strip set end to end and sew it into a tube. And this is kind of where the fun of the magic of the Bargello starts to happen. Here I have my finished strip set and you want to make sure that on your strip sets you press all of your seams in the same direction. That's going to help with lining things up when you construct the actual quilt. Now I've got two here. You make three for the entire quilt. I'm going to stack mine on top of each other just for ease of demonstrating as we cut here. I'm going to stack these guys right on top. There we go. And now we need to cut several strips out of this strip set. You're going to cut them into four different sizes. Two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, and five and a half inch strips. So I'm gonna turn my cutting mat sideways a little bit here. And the first thing that we wanna start with is what I like to call a cleanup cut. So I'm just gonna give myself a nice straight edge that I'm going to work off of with my ruler to cut the remaining strips. So we'll come down, there we go. So I've got a nice clean, fresh edge here that I know is straight. Now I'm gonna rotate my mat around one more time, just like this. And now I'm ready to start cutting those strip sets. I'm gonna start with a four and a half. Here we go. And we'll cut. And we'll just move that right out of the way. Make sure you've got a nice sharp rotary blade. Now we'll do a three and a half. go and a two and a half. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and cut two of these. There's one and two. And this is kind of like how I like to work with my strip sets. And I just keep moving from left to right because that's the correct placement of the ruler for me so that I can cut right handed. If you're left handed, obviously, you're just going to do this in reverse. Flip it around, there we go. Okay, so there's the first part of our strip sets, and you would just keep cutting those. You need quite a few to put together, put my scraps aside. And now it comes time to start cutting these apart. And you're always going to cut two of the same because your Bargello quilt is identical from one, the left side of it to the right side, except that it's flipped upside down. So you're cutting two of the exact same thing. And it starts with that lion print. Remember I mentioned that you had to keep track of one of your prints. So I'm going to take my two and a half inch strip and I'm gonna line it up so that I've got the exact center of my lion print. And then I'm gonna take a nice sharp pair of scissors and cut right on the fold. Just like that. So that becomes the far left row of my quilt. And then I'm going to take my second two and a half inch strip. And I'm going to cut it the exact same way. So right here. Just finding the exact center. 
and then cutting right on the fold. There we go. I'm going to move the ruler out of the way here. And now this becomes the outside edge of my quilt, so all the way to the right, but you're going to flip it upside down just like that. I'm kind of building a condensed version here, but next we're going to do another of our two and a half inch strips. And we started working with the lion. We're going to move down one color now. So I'm moving down to the yellow here. Same process. We're going to find the center. Give it a snip on the fold. And this is going to become the left side. There we go. Just like that. And now I'll take my second one, find the center, and cut on the fold. Now remember, this goes on the right side of the quilt, so we're going to flip it upside down, just like that. And you can already see that the Bargello is starting to come together. So I've got kind of a little stripe starting to happen over here and over here. Now we'll take one of our three and a half inch strips. We started with the lion. We've already cut the yellow. Now we're going to do our light blue. Find the center. I like to just kind of nest my seams together to find that center. That kind of helps me to keep it nice and straight. And as you get into your wider strips, you might find that you want to start working with a larger pair of scissors. It might make the cutting just a little faster. Okay. There we go. So we'll place this next. You can see our stripes happening. I love these little Bargello quilts. Now we're going to make a matched one for the other side of the quilt. There we go. And snip. There we go. And once again, turn it around. Perfect. So you can really see the stripes happening. This is your Bargello coming to life. Now you're just going to continue following the exact same process. So when you would cut your next strip, keep in mind, we started with the lions. We've cut the yellow and the blue. Now we would be cutting the dark blue. You just keep moving down one station in your Bargello strips until you get to the center. Once you've got all of your pieces cut to stitch it, all you have to do is work from one side. I actually kind of did quadrants, work toward the center, and we're just taking one of our rows, laying it right over top of the one next to it. Make sure that your seam lines line up. This is kind of an important step to really get that Bargello look. So when you're positioning this, if you just give those a little shift and make sure that your seams are lining up really nicely. Maybe put a pin or a little clip in here. This is one of the, the methods where I would use a pin or two just to keep it nice and straight. You've got a really graphic lined quilt, so you want to make sure that all of your seams come together nicely. So just a little pin or a clip, and then you're ready to zip on down that side with a quarter inch seam and just continue to build out the quilt. So it's pretty simple to put together this very striking and stripey quilt. Let me bring the quilt back up again so we can talk a little bit more about it. So here again is my finished quilt, and I love how I can see those colors just striping through. I mentioned before how you've got that one, two inch finished strip right here. And you can always tell if you've got the direction of your strips proper by where that stripe is. Because on one half of the quilt, it's going to be below your lions, and on the other half, it's going to be above the lions. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're piecing the quilt together. Now, I have not bound mine yet. I'm still kind of trying to decide what I want to use to bind it because it's such a busy quilt. There's so much going on here. I've got all my fabrics here, and it's kind of fun just to play and audition with what they might look like as the binding of the quilt. Bias stripes are one of my favorites for a binding. So I like to just kind of lay them under the edge of the quilt just so I see just a tiny little bit of it, and that can help to kind of visualize. The other thing that I'm thinking about doing is actually just piecing together a lot of the scraps from my fat quarters and doing a pieced binding. I think that might be kind of fun. It's a busy quilt, but hey, it's a busy quilt. And then the quilting, I just wanted to flip it over and show you did something kind of fun with this. Um, my long armor, my friend Denise, stitched it with a really cute kind of ABC123 design, and you can really see how those letters and numbers pop out on the back. So you can really have a lot of fun with the Bargello quilt. It's a fairly simple quilt to put together. You've got lots of options with regard to your fabrics and your quilting, and you'll have a cute little baby quilt in no time. Thanks so much for watching. My First Quilt is brought to you by Baby Lock.
Free Spirit Fabrics, Madeira, and Hobbs Batting.